I was snarly towards the end, pretty snarly indeed, because I just hated doing them. Uh, I loved performing, I loved performing, I loved doing the gigs, but just travelling around in a van together was, was killing me. You know, we're getting like 800 quid a grand a night for these gigs. I'm asking for sort of fiver to ring my missus. I went into the restaurant, I was like, I need a fiver. And Terry, the road manager, is like, nope. And I looked at Mark, I was like, you going to give me this fiver or what, out of the pot for the band? And he went, nope. And then, and then my arm just flew out from my body. I, I watched it, even, like, flying through the air <laughs> towards Mark's face. And then I went back in the venue, grabbed my amp, all my guitars, bags of effects round my neck, mandolin, electric guitar, electric guitar, amplifier, like this. Outside the restaurant, they were like, that's our equipment. I was like, that's my equipment. And they went, that's our equipment. I was like, fucking take it then. It, it was never a thing about money or it was, let's get on the road, let's go and do this, let's take our message out. Let's go and have fun and get the message out. It was really great, really good times. I mean, yeah, there was fights and weirdness and and arguments and tension and. Uh... Were you a archetypal angry young man? I still am, but I just not, I haven't got the young bit anymore. <laughs>